Let's learn in this video how to work with the daemon set within a Kubernetes cluster. A daemon set is like a deployment. It creates a specific number of pods to be deployed within the Kubernetes cluster. But it's a little bit different. Actually, it creates a pod in each worker node. We have an example here of a daemon set that will go to deploy an Nginx container within our cluster so that the number of pods will be defined by the number of the worker nodes within our cluster. Let's see a demo on how this works. So from here I'll switch to my VS code where I have a sample deployment of a daemon set object that will go to deploy Nginx containers to my Kubernetes cluster. Note here how this spec section looks like the same spec section within the deployment object. So I'll go to deploy this demo set within my Kubernetes cluster here. I am, I am already connected to my AKS cluster where I have uh, five uh, worker nodes right here. So I'll go to just use the command cube control apply dash f then the name of my daemon set and I'll go to deploy it to the default namespace. Once the daemon set is created here I can go to say cube control get daemon set and here I can find my daemon set with the name nginx and I have four uh, that have actually created four containers or four pods within my cluster. And now if I use the command get pods dash o wide in order to view more details about the deployed pods and its uh, worker nodes. From here I can see the four deployed pods, each one were deployed into a specific worker node and it's a different worker node each time. So from here we can see the worker nodes from the pool apps which are those uh, first four uh, nodes. Great, but this means actually that the node number 5 here was ignored. There are no Nginx pod deployed into this worker node. Why is that? So let's go back to our slides. So here, when we deploy a daemon set, actually uh, we deployed a daemon set without any uh, toleration. And it turns out that the system node pool could be tainted using a specific uh, taints. So here I have a sample um, YAML file for the node where I have the kind node right here and they have the name of my node and so on and then we should find somewhere that in this spec we have the taints and we are typically using a taint within the system node pool. It, it does not come by default actually it's up to us to add that so when we want to use a specific uh, system node pool and another user node pool, we typically go to taint that system node pool with this uh, taint right here saying critical add-ons only, the value is true and the effect is no schedule. And this means when I want to deploy my applications, they should not be deployed into the system node pool, but they will be deployed into the user node pools because of this taint. So using this taint, if I want to deploy any pod to the system node pool, then I should tolerate that uh, taint. So here within this daemon set, what I am doing here is that I'm creating that Nginx um, daemon set and then to allow it to be deployed into the system node pool, what I add here is this section for tolerations. So here I'm adding a toleration with key critical add-ons only, the operator exists and the effect is no schedule that corresponds to this one. So what I'm saying here is do, to deploy the Nginx container into the user node pool because it doesn't have any taint and also deploy it to the system uh, node pool. So it will deploy actually to both system and user node pool. Let's now to go to fix that deployment. So within I'll go back to my daemon set for Nginx and then I'll add the toleration for to be accepted within the system node pool. So here I'll just go to uncomment this section. So now I have that toleration for critical add-ons only. Note that we have here actually some other tolerations. I put it in a command so that you can uh, review it. So we have some other tolerations to allow the uh, Nginx um, daemon set to be deployed within the control plane or within the master nodes and some other uh, tolerations right here. Let's now go to redeploy this new daemon set. So again, I will use the command kubectl apply dash f then that daemon set. It tells me that daemon set was configured. So now if I run again the get 
uh, daemon set. From here, I can see now I have actually five running uh, pods. So here, if I do Q control get pods dash O white, I should see here that now my daemon set is running five containers and uh, or five pods and inside my five uh, virtual machines or my five worker uh, worker nodes and one of them is the system worker node. Great, I hope this was helpful for you uh, to view the uh, deployment scripts and also the YAML files that I have used in this demo. You can find it inside this YAML in this uh, GitHub repository. Thank you.